Mini tennis is such an incredible training drill exercise to be able to develop rhythm, tempo, control, feel. It's overlooked by so many amateur tennis players, but it's used by elite professional players all the time to warm up. And so here's some drills that you can do to get more comfortable with it because most tennis players are not comfortable with it. They feel very restricted and restrained by this small little area. And so the solution most players use is to be very uh, abrupt and tight and short in an effort to kind of control where the ball goes. But when you watch very high level players, they're using full, long, but very slow and relaxed. And that combination is very hard for most tennis players. Long, but also slow. So here's a quick feel exercise that you can use to try to get a little bit more familiar with this. Um, stand, just hands next, to your, hands next to your side, feet shoulder width apart, and swing your, your arm in a half circle back and forth and just go through a full half circle range of motion. So we're basically just kind of working our way through a pendulum uh, movement here, which is very analogous to uh, a tennis swing, obviously. And so after a couple full swings, slow the pendulum down to half speed. There's kind of a satisfying uh, feeling to that, to just taking it real slow, and calm. It's like I feel my heart rate dropping and my blood pressure dropping as I slow down the, the swing. And it's kind of the same sensation that you should have when you do a short court or mini tennis from the service line, is we want to go through a full range of motion, but very calmly and smoothly and relaxed. And so after doing that feel drill, a great way to practice this is just to drop and hit without a partner, without the pressure of having to try to keep the ball going. And what we're looking for here is some shape and some spin, but a calm, smooth tempo. So notice my ball on that last one crossed the net by two or three feet, but it also landed probably six or eight feet inside the service line on the other side. And so that is kind of the ideal uh, result that we want. So that the ball comes up, and then hits around the strike zone of our partner on the other side. Of course, the hard part is in a live dynamic rally back and forth, trying to maintain that, that similar uh, tempo and speed, but drop and hit and practice and notice the shape and notice the spin. If your shot looks like this, well, that's gonna be really hard to keep going. And the reason why that happened was my swing was very straight and lateral as opposed to more vertical, which will give the ball a little bit more shape, which will give your partner a little bit more time, and the tempo will be a little bit more calm and relaxed. So work through these progressions. Practice different shapes, different ratios, as I talked about in the, in the shape or the topspin training lesson, and experiment with this by yourself, and then finally go out with a, a training partner. I know it can be hard to find somebody else who's like-minded and wants to do this type of calm, you know, relaxed training, but it's worth the effort to try to find somebody. Once you find that like-minded person who likes doing these kind of uncomfortable training drills, uncomfortable for most people, then your games will develop together much more quickly. So find somebody in your local area. That would be the best training for this after you go through the other practice drills and spend some time on this because I know it's gonna help your game. If you enjoyed that lesson and you'd like more, make sure to go pick up a copy of my new book, Essential Tennis, co-written by my good friend here, Joel Chasnoff. And inside this book is really the culmination of my entire coaching career, the last 20 years of working with students, helping them make breakthroughs. And this book contains the most important elements that you need at the foundation of your game for tactics, for technique, for the mental game, for learning how to improve and self-guide. So if you're looking to break through to the next level, this is full of 38 chapters, the most important principles, as well as, as, well as lots of video lessons that are connected to uh, the book material and content, case studies. It's just incredibly, incredibly insightful and valuable. So if over the years I've brought you any value at all through my, my online lessons and you'd like to help support me, and do me a favor, go to Amazon or anywhere else books are sold and go pick up a copy today.